Right to Play recently came to FH Cleric and organized a full day Play Academy workshop. Students were able to lead games and become junior leaders. So we get um, 100 kids in total, uh, 10 kids from 10 different schools at a time, and we um, lead Play Academies so that they all get a chance to lead a group, speak in front of a group, have a new database or Rolodex of games um, to bring back to their schools um, with the overall goal of leading a right to play day. So that today we play it will happen in the spring. So this is setting them up with both the tools and the games to go back and run that right to play today we play day at their own schools. The kids learned a lot of different things today. The kids learned um, a specific number of games that they will take back to their schools and, and play. So the specific rules and gameplays and boundaries and equipment and everything that they need to play those games along with the leadership skills to be able to go back and lead those games competently and confidently um, to their peers. It's a great way for them to work on leadership skills. Um, and at the same time, um, deal with some of those major complex issues um, that Right to Play deals with in sort of the, the fun, play-based fashion. Uh, learning about those complex issues through games uh, just makes them so much more accessible um, for kids of all ages. So the Play Academies are in an incredible place for the students to learn so many skills that they often don't get the chance to learn in the classroom. So they get to play and they get to get the opportunity to lead games, which develops their confidence, building their character, leadership skills, all those different types of things that are sort of non-traditional stuff that we learn through playing sports and through playing games. Um, so the students are able to come here, spend the day trying, making mistakes, and figuring out what works in these types of situations, which is like I keep saying, such a different thing than happens a lot of the time, so it's a really great environment for them to learn in. So, like I said before, this is the second part of a three-part junior leadership initiative. So, this is the Play Academy where we're training students to then go back to their schools and lead a play day for the rest of the students at their school. So, the presentations happened in the, in the fall where the whole school was invited to learn about Right to Play. Now 10 students have been chosen to come and learn how to become junior leaders and learn how to teach the games. So the third part is they'll go back to their school in the spring on June 11th um, across the country. It's called uh, Today We Play. And all the schools, all the junior leaders that were at the workshops were gonna be, are going to be able to run a play day for the rest of their school to teach the rest of the school all the super cool games that they learned here today. I love the program, you know, it's just standing watching, being able to see all the different ideas that they come up with and the main thing, the fact that they're, they're learning on their own and, and learning with people that are new. Um, it's great to see that they're coming out and stepping out of their uh, comfort zones for that. In June, the junior leaders from the Play Academy will lead activities at their home schools for Today We Play Day. If you want more information on Right to Play, you can visit their website. For Go Sault Ste. Marie, I'm David Carlasio.